गुड मॉर्निंग एच ओडी प्रोफेसर ए के चतुर्वेदी सर माई सेमिनार गाइड ओ एस प्रजापति सर एंड माई माई सेमिनार कोऑर्डिनेटर डी पी शर्मा सर फैकल्टी मेंबर एग्जामिनर्स एंड माई फाइनल ईयर ब्रांच बैचमेट्स आई एम राहुल प्रजापत करंटली परसूंग माई बैचलर्स डिग्री इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी डिपार्टमेंट राजस्थान टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी कोटा टूडे आई एम प्लीज टू बी हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑल टू डिलीवर द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ माई सेमिनार टॉपिक फॉर व्हील स्टेयरिंग सिस्टम Now we're coming the slide of four wheel steering system, and the next slide is content. This is content of my presentation. The purpose of today's presentation is to describe about four wheel steering system and its mechanisms. Step: What is steering system? Working principle: Types of four wheel steering system, fail safes, advantages, disadvantages, applications, conclusions, and references. now we coming to the introduction slide four wheel steering system also called rear wheel steering system or all four wheel steering provide a mean to actively steers the rear wheel during turning maneuver it should not be confused with four wheel drive in which all four wheel of a vehicles are powered it improve handling and help the vehicles make tighter turns production build car tends to understeer or in few instances our steer if a car could automatically compensate for a understeer oversteer problem the driver would enjoy nearly natural steering under varying conditions four wheel steering system is a serious effort on the part of automotive design engineering to provide near natural steering the front wheel do most of the steering Rear wheel turning is generally limited to 50 to 60 during an opposite direction turn. During a same direction turn, rear wheel steering is limited to about 10 to 1.50. When both the front and rear wheel steer towards the same direction, they are said to be in phase, and this pro produces a kind of sideways movement of the car at low speed. when the front and rear wheel are steer in opposite direction this is called anti phase counter phase or opposite phase and it produce a sharp tighter turn now we coming the first topic on the next slide what is steering system steering is the collection of component and link links which allow a vehicles to follow the desired course to get the desired output input it given by functions which is called steering wheels the most conventional steering arrangement is to turn the front wheel using a hand operated steering wheels which is positioned in front of the driver via the steering column which may contain universal jo joints to allow it to deviate somewhat for a straight line other arrangement are sometimes found on the different type of vehicles for example a tighter or rear wheel steering track vehicle such as bulldozers and tanks usually employ differential steering that is the track are made to move at different speed or even in opposite direction using clutches brakes to bring about a change of direction as we discussing about car steering system so there are various type of steering system based on the movement of wheels two wheel steering system four wheel steering system power steering system speed sensitive steering system now we coming the next slide of the diagram of the four wheel steering system this is a diagram of the four wheel steering system now we coming the next slide the working principle of the four wheel steering system the working principle is said, said to be the track and pin and front steering system determining direction and degrees that all are the working principles now we coming the next slide that this is the different type of four wheel steering system are described in this slide and after this we will discuss in details now we coming the next slide and the this is mechanical four wheel steering system in a straight mechanical 
type of four wheel steering system two steering gears are used one of the front and the other one for the rear wheels a, a steel shaft connected to steering gearbox and terminates at a eccentric shaft that is fitted with an offset pin this pin engages a second offset pin that that fits into a planetary gear the planetary gear mesh with the matching teeth of a internal gear that is secured in a fixed position the gear was housing this means that the planetary gear can rotate but the internal gear cannot the eccentric pin of the planetary gear fit into a hole in a slider for the steering gear a 120 degree turn of the steering wheels rotate the planetary gear to move the slider in the same direction that the front wheel are headed proportionally the rear wheel turn the steering wheels about 1.5 to 10 degrees further rotations of the steering wheel past the 120 degree point causes the rear wheel the start starting out due to the double crank action and rotation of the planetary gear turning the steering wheel to a greater angle about 230 degrees find the rear wheel in a in a natural position regarding the front wheel for the rotation of the steering wheel results in the rear wheel going counter face with regarded to the front wheel it is not sensitive to vehicle's road speeds now we coming the next slide that is a hydraulic four wheel steering system the hydraulic operated four wheel steering system is a simple design both the components and opres operations the rear wheel turn only in the same direction as the front wheels they also turn no more than 11 upon 12 degrees the system only activated at speed above 30 mph and 50 km per hour and does not operate it when the vehicles move in a reverse a two way hydraulic cylinder mounted mounted on the rear rear system frame turn the wheels fluid for this cylinder is supplied by a rear steering pump pump that is driven by the differential the pump only operated when the front wheel are turning a tank in the engine compartment supply the rear steering pump with fluids when the steering wheel you turn the front steering pump is sended fluid under pressure to the rotatory valve in the front crank and pinion unit this forces fluid into the front power cylinder and the front wheel turning in the direction steered the fluid pressure varies with the turning of the steering wheel the faster and and further the steering wheel is turned the greater the fluid pressure the fluid is also fed under the same pressure to the control valve where it opens a spool valve in the control valve housing as the spool valve moves it allow fluid from the rear steering pump to move through and operate the rear power cylinder the higher the pressure on the spool the further it moves the further it moves the more fluid is allowed through to move the rear wheel as mentioned earlier this system limits rear wheel movement to 11 upon 2 degree in the either the left or right direction now we coming the next slide that is electro hydraulic four wheel steering system several four wheel steering system combine computer electronic control with hydraulic to make the system sensitive to both steering angle and road speeds in this design a speed sensor and steering steering wheel angle sensor feed information to the electronic control unit by processing the information receive the electronic control unit command the hydraulic system steer the rear wheels at low road speed the rear wheel of the system are not considered a dynamic factor in the steering process at moderate road speed the rear wheel are steered momentary counter phase through neutral then in phase with the front wheel at high road speed the rear wheel turn only in phase with the front wheel the electronic control unit 
must know not only road speed but also how much and quickly the steering wheel is turned these three factors road speed amount of steering wheel turn and the quickness of the steering wheel turn are interpreted by the ecu to maintain continuous and desired steer angle of the rear wheels the basic working element of the design of an electro hydraulic four wheel steering are control unit a stepa motor a swing arm a set of bevel gear a control rod a control valve valve with an output rod two electronic sensor tell the ecu how fast the car is going the yoke is a major mechanical component of this electro hydraulic design the position of the control yoke varies with vehicle's road speed for example at a speed below 53 km per hour the yoke in the downward position which result in the rear wheel steering in the counter phase the direction as road speed approach and exceed 53 km per hour the control yoke swing up through a natural position to an up position in the natural position the rear wheel steer in phase with the front wheel the stepper motor moves the control yoke as swing arms attached to the control yoke the position of the yoke determine the arc of the swing rod the arc of the swing arm is transmitted through a control arm that passes through a large bevel gear stepper motor action eventually causes a push or pull movement of the output shaft to steer the rear wheel up to the maximum of 5 degree in either direction the electronically control the four wheel steering system regulate the angle and direction of the rear wheel in response to speed and driver steering the speed sensing system optimize the vehicle's dynamic characteristic at speed thereby producing enhanced stability and within certain parameters agility now we coming to the next slide fail and safe measures all the four wheel steering system have fail safe measures for example with the electronic hydraulic setup the system automatically count contract possible cause of failure both electronic and hydraulic and convert the entire steering system to a conventional two wheel steering type especially if a hydraulic defect should reduce pressure level by a movement malfunctioning or a broken driving belt the rear wheel steering mechanism is automatically locked in a natural position activating a low level wearing light in the event of an electrical failure it would be detected by a self diagnostic circuit integrated in the four wheel steering control unit the control unit stimulates a solenoid valve which neutralizes hydraulic pressure thereby alternating the system to two wheel steering the failure would be indicated by the system's warning light in the main in instrument display on any four wheel steering system there must be near perfect complicate between the position of the steering wheel the position of the front wheel and the position of rear wheel it is usually recommended that the car be driven about 20 feet means 6 meter in a dead straight line and then the position of the front or rear wheel is checked with respect to steering wheel position the best reference point is a strip or masking tape on the steering wheel hub and the steering column when the wheel is positioned dead center draw a line down the tap run the car in shorter distance stayed ahead to see if the reference line holds if a correction are needed such a responding the steering wheel even sever imbalance of a rear wheel on a speed sensitive four wheel steering system can causes problem or make basic tur turbo shooting a bit frustrating now we coming the next slide of advantages of four wheel steering system the first advantage is superior conquering stability the vehicle conquering behavior become more stable and controllable at high speed 
as well as on wet slipping road surface and the next point is improved steering response and precision the vehicle response to steering input become quicker and more precise throughout the vehicle entire speed range now the next point is high speed straight line stability the vehicle straight line stability at high speed is improved negative effect of a road irregularities and cross winds on the vehicle stability are minimized the next point is improved rapid lane changing maneuvers this is stability in lane changing at high speed is improved in high speed type operation become easier the vehicles is less likely to go into a spin even the situation in which the driver must make a sudden and relatively large change of direction now the next point is smaller turning radius by steering the rear wheel in the duration opposite the front wheel at low speed the vehicle's turning circle it greatly reduce therefore vehicles maneuver or narrow road and during parking become easier now we coming to the next slide that is disadvantages that is disadvantages of four wheel steering system the four wheel steering system due to the construction of many new component the slide uh, the system becomes more expensive the system include as many component as especially electronically there is also a chance to get any of the part inactive thus the system become in operative now we coming the next slide of application of four wheel steering system this is the application of four wheel steering system the first one is parking during a parking a vehicles driver typically turns the steering wheel through a large angle to achieve a small turning radius by counter phase steering of the rear wheel four wheel steering system realize a smaller turning radius than is possible within two wheel steering system as a result vehicles is a turn in a small radius at parking the next point is a junction on a cross road or other junction where road intersect at 900 degree or tighter angle counter phase steering of the rear wheel causes the front and rear wheel to follow more or less path as a result the vehicle can be turned easily at a junction and the next point is slippery surfaces during steering operation on low friction surface steering of the rear wheel super slide wedge drift of the vehicle's rear end as a result the vehicle's direction is easier to control the next one is high speed straight line cooperation when traveling in a straight line at a high speed the vehicle driver frequently needs to make a small steering correction to maintain the desired direction in phase steering of the rear wheel minimize these corrective steering inputs narrow roads on narrow roads with the tight bends counter phase steering of the rear wheel minimize the vehicle turning radius there are reducing slide to slide rotate of the steering wheel and making the vehicles easier to turn the last point is a u turn by the minimizing the vehicle turning radius counter phase steering of the rear wheel enable u turn to be performed easily on narrow roads now we coming the next slide is conclusion this slide is a conclusion four wheel steering is a relatively new technology that imposes maneuverability in a cars trucks and trailers in standard two wheel steering vehicles the rear set of wheels are always directed forward therefore and do not play an active role in controlling the steering in four wheel steering system the rear wheel can turn left and right to keep the driving control as simple as possible the aim of four wheel steering is a better stability during overtaking maneuvers redu reduction of vehicle oscillation around its vehicle axis redu redu reduce stability to lateral wind 
नेचुरल बिहेवियर ड्यूरिंग कॉलिंग ए टी सी इम्प्रूव ऑफ एक्टिव सेफ्टी नाउ वी कमिंग द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज एनी क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर नो ओके नाउ वी कमिंग द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड द रेफरेंस स्लाइड these are some of the references from where from i have done the research work now we coming the next slide now coming to end i hope you all have enjoyed the session and thank you